There you go. We good? All right. Uh, well, we're only a few days, obviously, removed uh, or ahead of your fight here at Madison Square Garden. So what are the emotions now that the weight cut part, the weight, it's just the weight cut of media and the hard part of fight camp is behind you? It's just relaxing. I'm just in, enjoying the moment. And it's a massive car, the biggest one I've ever been on. And uh, I think it's special because my first fight in the UFC, Adesanya was the main event. And now he's the main event again. And uh, I'm just excited to be a part of it. How important was it to be on this card specifically, given that it's in Madison Square Garden? It's home field advantage. I, I'm right outside the city, and uh, I've been wanting my family to come and, and enjoy the process with me, and now they can. Did you ever go to the, any other past MSG fight, fights here? No, this is the first one. Uh, in, in looking at your opponent, uh, when we were at media day in his last fight in Singapore, his opponent predicted that he was going to have a fight of the night solely because the guy you're fighting can take a lot of damage, and it just aesthetically that usually leads to fight of the night. So when you look at his his tape, is he that durable as like his past opponents say? Yeah, I mean, he's a tough guy. I mean, there's no easy fights, and I've always wanted to fight tough guys. I've had tough opponents every time I come out of there, and that's what I want to do. I want to test myself. And outside of his durability, does anything else shine when you look at what he can do? Uh, he's a great counter puncher. You know, he's got great timing, uh, puts good combinations together. So, you know, I'm excited to test it. And a couple unrelated uh, to, to your fight. I've been asking all the, media, the guys at Media Day this. Uh, this might be Frankie Edgar's last fight in, in, in MMA. So do you, were you a fan of his coming up? Do you have any memories of watching Frankie or being around Frankie? Yeah, man, he's another Jersey boy. I'm excited to, to fight alongside him and uh, just be a part of his, uh, his final moments. Do you have any thoughts on the main event between Izzy and Alex? There's so much animosity going into that, but uh, you know, MMA is totally different than kickboxing, and uh, you know, obviously both fighters have improved since they last fought. It's been a long time since they they, they met each other in the ring, and uh, I mean, I I think Izzy pulls it out just because he's got a lot more experience in the octagon and in in MMA. But again, you, obviously, this sport is so unpredictable. You never know. Mike, uh, you'll fight right after your teammate, uh, Julio Arce. Is that going to be tough to like warm up and get ready and kind of root for him too? Uh, no, it won't be tough. I got extra coaches coming that they can warm me up in the back and get me ready. You know, we're both ready, man. It, I don't need to watch it. I know he's going to do well. Obviously, you come from the Ultimate Fighter and as winner. Uh, any, feel any other connections to other winners? Like, for example, Collar was on this card. Does that like make you root for a little bit more or anything like that? Uh, you know what, I don't really think about it, to be honest. You know, after the show, it was just like, all right, now I'm a UFC fighter. It's time to climb my way back up. Obviously, you want to put on a good performance in, in front of the home crowd. Uh, what's your prediction? Man, I, I, I really think I'm going to get a finish. I need one. I want one, and I've been dreaming about it. So I'm going to go make it happen. Good luck. Thank you. Mike Peck here. Um, this is the first, you're coming off the first losing streak of your professional career. Uh, do you feel any added pressure of, you know, snapping that streak? Well, I hate losing, so <laughs> that's, that's always number one. Uh, I mean, I don't really put pressure on myself. You know, I take it one fight at a time. Yeah, it's the first time in my career I've, I've lost back-to-back -back fights and anything. And uh, yeah, it sucks, but I'm just going to go in there and implement my game plan, and that's what it comes down to, you know, whoever wants it more. And speaking of pressure, uh, you know, you, you trained right around the corner in Ramsey. Uh, this fight being in New York City and especially in MSG, do you feel any added pressure being under such bright lights here? I don't feel any pressure. I, I've been dying to fight with a big crowd for a while. You know, it's since before COVID was the last time I, I fought with a big crowd because the last few fights I've had have been at the apex, smaller crowds to no crowd based on COVID and everything. So now that I'm finally back in a big arena, especially MSG, which has been a bucket list of mine in my career, you know, I'm just, I, I feed off the energy of the crowd and I'm excited to just do my thing. Thanks, Mike. What's going on, Mike? Stan the man from Menace and the Man. So you said you feed off the crowd a little bit. Did that like affect your performance heavily? The fact that there was no crowd in the last fights? Like, would you say that was the reason why you had those performances? No, not at all. Uh, when I was on the show, there was zero people there, you know, besides like my team. So I, it, it really comes down to just me implementing my game plan and 
over my opponent implementing his. You know, it, that's what it comes down to. I mean, everybody's good, so it, I just got to go out there and do what I've been preparing for. So I know you said no pressure, but comfort. I know a lot of fighters have a different take on it, fighting close to home or fighting on the road. What's your take on it? Do you prefer fighting close to home, like sleeping in your own bed, or do you need the work trip, like you have your bags and you're in the hotel? Um, I, I mean, I definitely like separating myself from, from everybody in the, the usual uh, routine, uh, just to get my, my mind right for, for the fight. But uh, I definitely pre uh, prefer to be at home and not having to get on a plane and do all that extra travel. So it, it's are a little you separating bit yourself here? Like, are you staying at home or are you staying at the hotel? No, I'm staying at the hotel, man. I'm just chilling and getting my mind right. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys.